think I was 20 when we got our first our first deal, and it was a major deal. It was huge, it was, and uh, and we thought it was that was it. We're made. We're in. You know. Did like, you make any ridiculous purchases? Yeah, I bought I bought glasses that were like clear on the bottom and tinted at the top. <laughs> Just the most stupid sunglasses a person could ever buy. And How I was much like, are those? Well, I, this is what they wear, you know, when they go to the Grammys. So yeah, I'm just, you know, getting ready. You're like, what is Lenny Kravitz wearing these days? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, we thought we had it made. And um, then that was like right at the time that Napster was really getting its hands mm-hmm. on all the music. All the record labels were freaking out and shutting down and, and restaffing. And uh, we got tangled up right in the middle of our record while that was going on and so um, the, I guess the biggest misconception is, is that you know once we thought once we were signed then we didn't have to really work anymore then it was like okay then we it's all in the hands it. of everybody else yeah, yeah. and uh, so we finished the record we were we were really happy with it we thought we were you know on to something brand new and awesome and once people heard it it was going to be great and uh we went home and we were heroes back there, but the rest of the world never got to hear any of our music because we got shut down. And it, I don't think that we got screwed. I don't think you know, like anybody did us wrong or anything like that because they gave us uh, a lot of uh, uh, rope. You know, we got the record for free. We didn't have to pay for it. It was, it was, um, it was, it was really nice. But at the same time, we were. We were screwed. Bit of a silver lining in the end, but yeah, you know, the the reality hit you hard. Reality, yeah, and it was when we were home and we were there for like three months. We were like, "Well, we're screwed now. We don't, you know." They were like, "We can't put out your record. You can have it, you know. We won't keep it, but we can't put it out. You'll have to find somebody else to put it out." So we were like, we "We're like, okay, fine. We're, we're going to do it on our own." We're but we really the didn't. Trunk of our car. Yeah, and that's what we did. And Four we years sold, later, we finally got it. We sold eight thousand copies out of the trunk in our hometown. We were like. This is gonna be. That was when people were still buying records. Yeah, and uh, you know everything was fine. And then uh, we tried. Uh, we went out and tried different labels, and all the labels were like, um, "We can't afford it." So we were. We were just. You know. Yeah, just uh, kind of stranded with it. Yeah. Um, but on, in the long run, yeah, you you kind of had the rug pulled out from underneath you. But mm-hmm. but on the bright side, you had really cool sunglasses. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I looked great in the mirror. Oh, and people, people could see what they were seeing, what you were seeing in your mirrored uh, that sunglasses. That's the only thing. I, I was the only person to see those sunglasses. I put them away. I buried them. I did a ceremony and everything. I was like, <laughs> Time I'll capsule. never wear these to the Grammys. Well, someday. I'll dig them up. Right now, there's a, there's a pit bull somewhere looking pretty fly. 